Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a math tutorial to share with you today. We've been working through our geometry main lesson block with this curriculum by Live Education. And today we're going to depart from the curriculum momentarily from doing the golden section and golden triangle to doing the Fibonacci sequence using this book called The Golden Section, which has been a tremendous resource for this main lesson block. So we're going to do the Fibonacci sequence, which is a little bit different than the golden section, but the higher the number you go in the Fibonacci sequence, the closer you get to the golden section. So we did a lesson on the Fibonacci sequence, and then we wrote down the Fibonacci sequence, and we started out by copying some of the numbers that are already in the book called the golden section, but then we continued later on by basically adding the two previous numbers to give you the next number in the sequence. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take two numbers and show how those two numbers will get you closer and closer to the golden section, the golden ratio, phi and phi. But I wrote down phi and phi, and I forgot to write down actually phi, but I wrote down the symbol for it. And then we're going to work out the math in order to get closer and closer to the actual constant. And phi is 1.618033399, and then it keeps going. And phi, the lesser, is 0.618033399, and then it continues. So the numbers are the same in the sense that the des beyond the decimal point, they're the same. And then, of course, there's a 1 for the greater and not a 1 for the lesser. So we went ahead and continued with several more uh, parts of the sequence so that we could do our ratios and our fractions and see if we could get any closer to the actual constant. And my mistake actually was that I only went three digits out for the first few um, problems or mathematical computations and I realized I needed to go farther out so that we could really see how the progression was coming along. And then we wrote out the Fibonacci se sequence for many, many digits. Uh, there are people who do memorize pi and phi to many digits, which is really amazing. Then we went ahead and wrote down some very interesting things about phi and phi. So when you subtract phi from phi, you get one. And when you take the product of phi and phi, you also get one. And when you square phi, you get phi plus 1. So that completed our lesson for the Fibonacci sequence. I hope that you enjoyed this look at how we do our homeschooling lessons, especially for our geometry and our math. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information, as well as the books and the resources that we're using for our main lesson block. You can find that link down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.